Hi guys, uh, on this video, you're looking at the 75 index on the 24 hour time frame. So, looking at the overall market structure, if you zoom out, you'll see that we are creating lower lows and lower highs. We are pushing to the downside. So, if you can see around this point, we are going to look for those selling opportunities just because. Uh, looking at the overall structures, as I said, we are creating lower lows and lower highs. And then if you draw out like the overall structures just like this, you'll see that we have a corrective break around this point of which this break of structure is not that valid just because it's very corrective. And then you want momentum in the market so that we can see that it's committing to that movement. And then if you draw out like this structures here, you'll see that we have like structures within structures. And then another thing that I'm noticing is that we have this descending channel, this large descending channel that I've drawn up, this one. Around this point whereby we have this touch here, this touch here. Then we had an EMS here. We also didn't have like the third touch. So we have like two touches whereby we can expect to get like the overall third touch from this point to initially give us like those buying opportunities. <coughs> So looking at the structures, you can just zoom out and then just make sure that we are catering for these structures. And then looking for the hook points, we are looking at this area here and this area here to initially give us those selling opportunities. And then if you evolve like the overall structures, you'll see that we have a continuation pattern just because we came from an impulse down from this impulse to the downside. So this can be the corrective move that initially pushes to the downside and then another thing that i'm seeing as i said like the nature of the market is very very corrective whereby this can be that ascending channel that gives us like those nice selling opportunities so if you just draw like the structures within here you'll see that we have like some some type of an expanding and then we have the double top formation and then we look for those cells just because initially we have this first touch the near miss here and then we have the third touch here so we can expect the third touch from this point and initially reach like the bottom of the structures of which we expect like the overall larger third touch so let me just remove that so so that we can make sure that we are doing like the right things so i'll remove each and everything and then starting over again looking left you see that we have this bottom of the structure whereby we created that mass psychology activation and then we have the highest high point and then if you draw like the current structures here we have some type of a descending channel just like this and then after creating that descending channel you'll see that we have two touches at the bottom and then looking at the structure as i said from this point we are very corrective so you can just evolve the structure to this type of pattern and then looking at the pattern now it makes sense just because we can remove the ray line we can put it here and then after putting it here you'll see that we are continuing with the larger trend impulse to the downside corrective move and then we expect the impulse to the downside to finish the overall pattern and then after we finish the overall pattern the so the movement would be in this type of fashion whereby we extend the trend line we sell off from here to here and then after getting like the third touch then that is where we can look for those buying opportunities maybe up to the top of the structure which is here here or here at the top of the structure so let's look at the lower time frame so the four hour so on the four hour let me just remove a few of these and then on the four hour time frame normally we check for momentum so seeing that the momentum is very very weak so it means that this is the double top area you can just use this type of ray line or you can just use a zone if you want a zone like this and then remove this one and then drawing out the structures you'll see that we have an ascending channel reaching the top of the structure just like this and then we draw touches correctly and then we are at that area whereby we can look for those selling opportunities just like this stops can be just above and then we can clear this high here just like this let me target the areas for us to initially look for that move to the downside of which in an example it would be in this type of fashion we get the third touch Let's say we move in a corrective move and then we look for those 
buying opportunities at the bottom of the structure this type of uh, movement would make sense or this type of setup will make sense to everyone who has been watching like my videos you'll know that these patterns work out all the time you just have to give them time and then they will work out in your favor so the top of the structure then let me just remove these and then it seems like we have some type of a pattern or then a pattern around this point to this point and then from this point to that point just like this so like i said catering for that a high as your stop loss this one here can be in your favor just because looking at the pattern here we have first touch second touch this would be the middle section then we can have like the third touch at the top for us to initially sell off so what i'd like to see before you can take a trade or before you can take a trade what you can wait for is a clear push to the downside and then maybe let's say you get like a tight flag here of which most of the time these type of setups or instruments don't give us like uh tight flags or you can look for the sell after the break and then come back and retest here then that is when you can look for those selling opportunities just like this just like this and then make sure that you're taking the links in the description below Lucas that i use everything that i use is in the description below so you can get like this type of selling opportunity just like this and then the overall target will be at around 7.3 percent knowing that we are looking for those buying opportunities long term so that is it for today's video you can just drop a comment of what you think about this overall setup and click the like button then i'll see you on another one